If you have shoulder pain or a rotator cuff injury, you may have used a pulley something like this in your physical therapy. And a shoulder pulley can be a really helpful tool for rehabbing a shoulder injury, but many people use them wrong. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm gonna go through some common errors that people make when using a shoulder pulley and how to use it correctly. So first of all, what are the common errors that people make? Well, by far the most common way that people use a shoulder pulley is going up and down in this motion right here, known as flexion. And you'll see with the pulley handles that this doesn't really allow you to get all the way up. You may have to adjust the handle length or choke up on the string in order to get a more full range of motion. But one of the biggest errors with this type of movement with the shoulder pulley is that the pivot point is right above you. And what that does is as you raise your arm up over 90 degrees, your angle is inwards in a position of internal rotation. And what that internal rotation does is it rotates a bump on your shoulder underneath the arch of the shoulder and you end up actually pinching the rotator cuff tendons when you go above shoulder level in this internally rotated position. And you really can't avoid that when you're holding on to the pulley like this because it's pulling you that way. It's very difficult to keep your arm out in a position of external rotation. So we'll go over a fix for that in a moment. Now the second error that people make with this type of movement of their shoulder is that when using a shoulder pulley, it treats the shoulder kind of like a stationary axis of rotation. Kind of like when you do a bicep curl, the pivot point really doesn't move. But when you move your shoulder in everyday life, you're not rotating around an axis like this. That axis moves because your shoulder blade moves upwards as you raise your arm upwards. And so you have to take that into account as well. And again, I'll get into fixes for these problems later on in the video. But I first wanna go through the second error that people make when using a shoulder pulley. And that's for an exercise known as abduction. Now this abduction movement actually works out a little bit better because you're in more of a relative external rotation but not if you keep your arm in front of you like this, because when the pulleys are in front of you, you're still in internal rotation, that direction. Now, if you keep your elbow forwards when you're doing this and keep your arm in more relative external rotation and raise up like that, it's a better motion. But again, you can see it's still kind of treating this like it's a stationary axis of rotation when as you normally move your arm, that axis of rotation moves. So if you are gonna do the abduction exercise, the positioning of the pulley does allow you to get into external rotation. If you bring your arm back like that, then you have to be very conscientious, I'm gonna choke up here a little bit, about allowing your shoulder blade to come along with the movement. You can actually see it creates a little bit of a trunk side bend. I'm exaggerating now just to, show you the point, but your trunk does naturally kind of side bend away from the arm that you're raising as you're abducting. So to be more realistic with it and not exaggerate, you wanna make sure you're allowing your shoulder blade to come upwards and upwardly rotate in a motion like that. So if you picture the shoulder blade, it's coming up and out like that. So again, this way, palm facing forward, shoulder in external rotation and allowing the shoulder blade to come along into the movement. So that's the correction for the abduction movement. Now, how do you make the correction for the flexion movement? And again, flexion is the motion right in front of you like that. Well, like I mentioned before, the pulley is over top. So there's really no way you can keep yourself in external rotation as it's pulling you in this way unless you move your chair. So if you take your chair and you turn it sideways to the door so that your arm is now up against the door, almost underneath the pulley, and then 
you raise upwards like that. So your thumb is pointed backwards. Your shoulder's now in external rotation, particularly if you think about sliding your arm up the wall like this. And you also want to allow your shoulder to move. So you're kind of elevating your shoulder blade as you're sliding the arm up the wall like that. So that allows you to keep more external rotation in your shoulder as you're raising the shoulder and the shoulder blade up at the same time. Now, what about other exercises that people do with a shoulder pulley? One other exercise that people do with a shoulder pulley is a movement of external rotation, where you stand facing a doorway and pull out like this. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with doing this. This is actually a pretty okay exercise. I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy a shoulder pulley just for the purpose of doing this, because you can just as easily use a broomstick or a dowel rod to do that, and you get really the same effect. So if you happen to have the shoulder pulley and you want to use it for this motion, it's perfectly fine to do. There's no problems with doing this motion, but don't go out and buy it just for that purpose. Now, one thing you absolutely don't want to do is a shoulder internal rotation exercise behind your back using a pulley. And how that looks is you put your arm behind your back, grab on to the pulley like this, and use the pulley to slide your arm up your back. Now that may be good in theory if you have difficulty reaching behind your back, but if you watch what's happening here with the shoulder as I do that, as you pull the arm up this way, up behind the back, the shoulder blade tips forward. And what that does is it actually brings the arch of the shoulder blade down so that it's pinching on the rotator cuff tendons, which is the opposite of what you want. So you really don't want to encourage that forward tip of the shoulder. Additionally, if you get your elbow back too far behind your body, then that creates extension of the humerus or of the shoulder joint. And what you get with that is that the ball of the shoulder actually starts to pop out forward and pinches on the rotator cuff tendons as well. So for both of those reasons, to avoid the tipping of your shoulder forwards and to avoid the extension of your humerus or extension of your arm behind your back, I highly recommend not using a shoulder pulley to do internal rotation. So what should you do if you have shoulder pain when you're reaching behind your back? Well, I've got another video that I'll refer you to, and you can check that out right over here. But before you go, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.